name is Carol and I'm going to be helping Mrs Osborne with our class this year and I am so happy that I get to be with you guys. Today I am going to be reading the story of Adam and Eve. Do you remember the wonderful things that God made when he created the world? Do you remember the name of the first man he created? Yes, it was Adam. Adam lived in a beautiful garden. Many trees grew there and they bore wonderful fruits, bananas, apples and many others. There were plenty of animals living in harmony with one another. The birds sang and colourful flowers grew among green grass. Rivers flowed through this lovely garden. It was filled with the scent of flowers and herbs and was called Eden or Paradise. It was not only called this because it was colourful and because there was always something interesting going on, but also because the Lord God himself was present in the garden. God cared for Adam as a father cares for his child. Adam was truly happy and he worried about nothing. God allowed him to give names to all the animals. Adam enjoyed the wonderful garden and God knew the desires of his heart. God knew that Adam needed a friend. God said, it is not good for man to be alone. So he made a woman and gave her the name Eve. Adam was very pleased. He showed Eve around the whole garden. Adam and Eve were never hungry. They were never cold. They were both very happy because they lived close to their father who had created them. They were content. Adam and Eve could use everything that was in the garden. They could eat any fruit they wanted from any tree except one. They could not eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God said, every fruit is tasty and good, but if you eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you will die. Adam and Eve obeyed this command. They did not want to make God sad. One day, something terrible happened. While walking through Eden, Eve came close to the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Suddenly, she heard a voice. Who could be speaking to her? It was not Adam's voice. It also was not God speaking, because she knew his voice too. Eve stopped to hear where the voice was coming from. She began walking towards it. She walked and walked, and then she saw a beautiful serpent, shining in the sun, looking at her with its bright eyes. Good day, the serpent welcomed her kindly. It is I that spoke to you. Eve was scared, but her curiosity was so great that she decided to ask the serpent a question. Who are you? I don't remember seeing you among the animals that live in Eden. It is not important who I am. Tell me, is it true that you may eat any fruit except the fruit from this tree? The serpent asked shrewdly. Yes, it's true. The fruit is not good for us, Eve responded. The Lord God told us so, and he cares for us. The serpent came closer to Eve and whispered in her ear. It's not true. This fruit is very tasty. God only said so because he did not want you to try it. If you eat of this fruit, you will become as wise and powerful as he is. Trust me, I know him better than you do. The serpent continued, eat the fruit and you will see that something wonderful will happen. Do you know what happened then? Eve listened to the serpent and ate the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. She called for Adam and he also ate the fruit although God had strictly forbidden them to do so. They disobeyed their father. They committed a great sin. Adam and Eve quickly realized that the serpent had lied to them. He had said something wonderful would happen, but it was just the opposite. They became very unhappy. They were sad and scared. They also saw that they were naked. They quickly made themselves something to cover their nakedness. Some time later, the Lord God began calling for Adam and Eve. Where were they? Why were they afraid to face their father? 
Adam and Eve hid behind thick bushes because they were afraid of God. But God sees and hears everything. He saw them hiding and asked, Adam and Eve, why do you hide? Has anything bad happened? Now they had to face him and tell him the whole truth. God, seeing them naked and scared, asked, Have you eaten the forbidden fruit? Adam answered, Yes, but it wasn't our fault. The serpent made us do it. God became angry at the serpent because he realized that his great enemy Satan had hidden in the serpent's skin. He was responsible for what had happened. Satan envies God and wants to make everyone unhappy. Adam and Eve had free will, which meant they could make their own decisions. So the Lord God said to them, You will be punished for your disobedience. You cannot live in Eden anymore. God gave them clothes made of animal skin and cast them out of the beautiful garden. They settled outside paradise, and from that time on, they were never truly happy. Despite their sin, God loved Adam and Eve very much. He promised his disobedient children that someday everything would change. A very special child would be born, much stronger than Satan. The child would have a very important task to fulfill. Do you know who I am talking about? Yes, the Lord Jesus. He would die on the cross for our sins. He would defeat Satan so that every person, young or old, who believes in him would be happy again and would live in an even more beautiful garden, in heaven, close to God himself.